Hello, this is Alex Eames from Raspi.tv. In the last couple of weeks, a number of people have asked about whether or not it's possible to programmatically switch the HDMI Pi screen on and off. Um, until now it hasn't been, but I've come up with a hack that enables you to do it, and it only involves soldering one wire. So down here we've got a power button, which disables power to the screen, but not to the Pi, if you happen to be powering the Pi from the Pi power port. So pressing that button would just kill the power to the screen and the Pi stays alive. So all I've done is I've soldered a wire to the 3v3 side of the power circuit here and connected the other end of that to GPIO 25 and if we drive that port low it effectively is the same as pressing that power button. So let's just show you how it works then. Okay, so here's the little Python script I've written. Uh, defined a function to toggle the screen on and off. And just basically got it looping three times to leave the HDMI Pi switched on for 10 seconds, to switch it off for five seconds, and then back on. Go through that, and then clean up and exit. So I'm gonna run the script now, and we should see the HDMI Pi switch itself on and off a couple of times. Okay, it's going off now. Yep, switched itself off. You can see me again. Hello. Should go back on in a couple of seconds. There you go. Should be on for 10 seconds and then off again. And one more time. Great, there you go. So the code for all of this can be found on the blog that goes with this video. And obviously the possibilities are limited only by your imagination. Once you know you can programmatically control a button. And here there's four other buttons. You could programmatically control those if you wanted to. There's plenty of ports on the on the Pi. You only need a port for each one. Uh, have a good look at the blog where it describes some of the technical uh, issues that I encountered. Uh, in the end there was a little issue with uh, using outputs and inputs on, on the Pi and a little trick that uh, prevented the program from disabling the buttons. But if you want to know more about that, have a look at the blog article where it's talked about in detail. Hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you enjoy the idea of being able to hack your HDMI Pi. This was Alex Eames for Raspi.tv. Thank you for watching.